This must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. Deep in. Flooded too, like she said. They're scanning for me. Probably came from somewhere upriver. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. where the water's coming from. Looks like something the old ones built.
An animal carving from long ago. Somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the din? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Waters, no way I'd be able to swim. Intake tower malfunction, drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Hard to see anything, but this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. These wires must run to the power source. Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. A piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. That Asaram must have forced his way through here. Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> when you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to uh, flood a little. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. 
And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... from... wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, and seeing myself, and... my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect! <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we going to get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl. Two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates. But I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? <laughs> you know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the clan. A stone ruin. Cloud tall and lake wide. Must have been 13 levels on that monstrosity, but no wall. Just great stone columns bearing the way to the level above. Filled out with row upon row of those enormous, busted out old world parts. You know the ones uh, with the four wheels? Ugh. A tub of stagnant water. Charming. I've ever seen inside of first. You don't suppose that's what they were for, do you? Why would the old ones want to cart around families and birds? Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving! There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to... Lock this thing in place! One gate down! Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. <laughs> 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 
Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. Now, how are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety, rusting platform. I might find a way up. Nice <sighs> jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. tell you how to fling yourself around. You obviously possess more expertise than I. Ah, uh -huh. you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you'd take the valve on the other side, if it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. This? This is my sort of delve. A thousand little problems to solve. A million minute and invisible factors. My father used to say to me, Gildling, uh, he called me Gildling. Gildling, he used to say, don't make the delve harder than it needs to be. The best elves are done in half the time it takes a campfire to sputter out. Now, my father was a great man, but dead wrong when it came to choosing the rubric by which to judge Delphos. To find yourself stuck, then unstuck. To fail, then to succeed. To get lost, find yourself. That's what makes a delve. Uh huh, Gildan. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve! It's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now. <laughs> I can't jump straight to the counterweight from here. But I could climb higher, get above it. Good to go! You were a sight to see! Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? 
Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! You're not gonna be the one to stop me. Is it dead? Just tell me when it's dead, would you? It's dead. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but... Never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils! Ooh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Should we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? I do, fervently, but, well, I got time to poke my nose in if you did. Okay, shells. Shells, we're not focusing on that right now. We're recording, okay? We're not even in the band meeting. Sort of county practice, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers! You're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with your sticker. Colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Sure are a lot of valves. Should check my focus first. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry, I think I've got this. Music to my ears, to each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. That's not quite right. Demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? 
I'm afraid I inherited my mother's restlessness. Getting there? Looks like I'm on the right track. There, that should do it. I should head back, see if that took care of the rest of the water. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did! Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess it had sealed because of the flooding. This must go down to the lower level. Ugh, it stinks down here. Mm, mm. You smell that? Ugh, smells like a Ford side Looks morning like in the claim. I should head back up with Gildan. See? Check this out! We could just bang on this pipe, you know? And... Could we sample that or? Oh, totally! Like, what about after the. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Laura? I, uh... I need to take a break. Laura? Hey! Laura! So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room... I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. The lock positions. Helpful. Uh... What... Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Where is it? Where did it go? Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I... I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides... What are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Ugh! By the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh... 
Believe we have some repairs to make. <sighs> I mean, this is it. We get to play together, what, maybe two more times? Nah, sure. Farewell tour! Reunion tour in like six months. They do it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We could practice in hollow space. People always say that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. It's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! Ha! You are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? <laughs> You're braver than me. But there was no question of that. <laughs> you go on ahead. I'm gonna stand right here and bask in our victory for a while longer. lower. And going by that sound, I think Lao Lai is already at the din. Sounds getting louder. She wasn't kidding about the sound.
You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Thank you.